When you pick a command grab character on Daigo, he hates you now. He don't, he don't mess with that ever since Phenom, I could tell. Like, he jumping, he just jumping. Yo, 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 what is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Punk, and I'm back with another video. And today, we are Punk React. You know, we was watching the Topanga B League, and now it's the A League, which is... You know, it's definitely a big league, and it's where all the big boys at. You know, you didn't have, like, the Tokidos, the Gachikuns, Kawano. They weren't in the B League, so they were already in the A League. So, without further ado, I need you to go like, comment, subscribe, and turn the post notification bell on, and let's get into the video. I feel like this is a pretty nice match to start it off with. Higuchi versus Machavo. I mean, Machavo starting off strong, bro. I'll tell you, he got that new Nikali. This new Nikali been having my man feel different. Oh, wow, with a backdash. It's a, you can come back, but it's a hard comeback. Yeah, it's hard. Can you confirm that? Hold on. Just come back is very possible, it seems. Oh, man. Bro, there's no way he loses this, right? He checked the dash, but Higuchi dead. Oh, he's so lucky, bro. Damn, that's how the A-League starting off like that? Early V-reversal, so he wanted to catch a boom. Oh, he wanted EXDP, I'm sure. That sucks. Would have got baited also, but you would have at least still had two bars. Now you're trying to fight Gao. No meter. Oh, nice way to blow through the fake block stream. Knowing that Machibo wants to get low forward, activate there. You just EX flash kick through it. Yeah, Higuchi look, definitely look. Oh, there it go. He's looking for something big into the super. That's the Gao special, bro. Gao players are the greatest super farmers, bro. They farm killing people with supers. Like, he can't figure anything out in neutral. Can't figure how to get in safely. Mm, again, look at that. Just blowing through the fake block stream. Just shut him down. Next match, we got Bonchan versus John Takuchi. This is interesting because John Takuchi was undefeated in the B League. I can see Sagat doing okay versus Cody because of high tiger shot. Yeah, which you're seeing already. High tiger shots are so fast and it's very hard to blow through it with projectile invincible moves. So, a lot of times you'll see in matchups like this, Sagawa will try to shoot a lot of high tiger shots. But right there, as you've seen John already showing Bonchan that he will sweep if he does high tiger shot and he crouches it in range. So, they already showed each other the two big answer. Oh, look, and right there, he got something bigger than the sweep. He got Crouch Fierce here to punish the high tiger shot. So, John already letting Bonchan know early he knows how to deal with the high tiger shot. Already? Ooh, big. That might kill. Oh, wow. What a combo. Whew. My man Bonchin just playing a neutral. Fireballs and buttons, bro. John just got to not get impatient in these matches. I mean, they're going to be long. They against a guy. You don't want to play a guy game after you had the lead. And then he wins one game. You don't want to start falling into his game and just start playing mad, mad aggressive and just falling for everything. Getting the anti air, running into every button. And even when he has the knife, Bonchan is just winning a neutral still from the corner too. Which is very impressive because you can't really move in the corner. You only can move, well, you can't move backwards at all. But my man Bonchan is fighting out of that corner. Against the knife. One big confirm away from winning. But John is also one big confirm away from winning. Let's see who gets it first. EX Zonk. Bond Chain just staying patient. He got to confirm. And now it's a 2-2. Two -two. But now John is back in and has the corner. Core Bond Chain holding back or up there. Not really sure which one. And now John is looking really good to take this last game and not let Bonchan make this comeback. Nice back dash, just playing slippery. Ooh, big shimmy. That's so he got super from that. 
Bro, you see how my CA meter? No, bro, let's go back real quick. You see how my CA meter that feels? Look at how much my man has. Look, bro, that's so much. John takes that and continues his undefeated streak. Next match, oh, this is a big one. Gachi Kun versus Tokido. This is a big time, first time. I mean, we're seeing big Tok. And my man does, he is on the dark side of things. He does play that Lucas and Both players just staying so disciplined to not tech when the other walk up by Tokido with the big whiff punish there. Nice. You can't get a oh, you still get sweep. Wow. Did did he know that? I mean he was ready to confirm that. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if you can win this with my man doing stuff like that. No matter what character Tokido plays, he will always be as optimal as possible in every situation. Oof, Tokido just stalking his prey. Man, you can see how powerful he feel with Luke. Just walking up, no regrets. Wow, okay. What a what a whiff punish with DP, huh? That's how you living over there just in Japan, Tokido. Is not trying to let Gachi Kun get no type of offense started. Oh, big combo. Another EICP. Tokido is letting it rip into a big whiff punish. Yep, activate V trigger. Oh, you're dead. Bro, he tried to do it again. Tokido is... He, he not really about this Rashid fresher, I could tell. And now Tokido is finding himself going back to the character select. It worked for Gachikun. Would it work for Tokido? It is tied 2-2. Two -two. Wow, what an overhead. Okay. <laughs> oh, we... Okay, you got to activate. You got the corner. So this is pretty much where you want your checkmate to be at. But Tokido with the walk forward and grab Gachi Kun out of a button. Looks like he grabbed him out of crouching short, maybe. Tokido's one hit away from winning now. Oh, that's death. Oh, yeah, he's keeping it optimal, too, to make sure it kills. Nice and optimal. Look at that. Off of V Trigger, activate that kill. Very good combo from Tokido to take that and, you know, win that set. Oh, next match is Mago versus Kawano. I know Mago plays all the characters, right? He plays Karen still, Cammy, and Luke. I didn't know he played Luke, but the other two, he does still play them. But if you play Luke at any degree and your opponent plays Colleen, you probably should just play that matchup, honestly. Yeah, this Luke skin is pretty cool. I don't really like the hair that much, but the, the pants, the black and white, I meant the red and white. Oh, he tried the EX Perry. Mago, oh, he tried to do it again, but Mako is just medium with crouching light kicks. Since that parry does not parry lows. Oh, oh, we optimal. That's gas for game. That's gas for game. DP. Mago is definitely one of those players who has really good DP anti air. Pun oh, that couldn't punish that. Damn, Mago is not afraid to use the bar at all times with Luke. I agree, to be honest. And I feel like Mago, he's definitely not using a lot of fireballs in his matchup. So I would say the way Mago is playing a matchup is pretty, it makes the matchup pretty even. Maybe even favors Colleen, honestly. I think Mago's just not shooting enough fireballs. He's not controlling the neutral like you're supposed to with Luke. He's playing as if he's playing Cammy and Karen and he doesn't have a fireball trying to go for low forward confirms. And frame trap pressure, but this matchup is all about zoning Colleen and her very hard time getting around fireballs. But if your opponent is not really shooting them, and you don't have to get around them, right? Mago definitely, I feel like he knows why this matchup is bad and there's a reason he picked it. But he just probably just don't have the, the like maybe he don't have the matchup knowledge to execute the strategy. I mean, even if that was EXDP, you're okay with this. 
This is a 2-2. Two -two. That's putting you on. Yeah, that was. Um, got the shimmy. Maybe he could have won if he confirmed that jab into target combo V trigger. Maybe it would have killed. But he did not. And Kawano takes that. And I think we have one last game, which is going to be Fudo versus Daigo. Daigo's forever scarred against Command Grab 2 from Phenom, so when you pick a Command Grab character on Daigo, he hates you now. He don't, he don't mess with that ever since Phenom, I can tell. Like, he jumping. He just jumping. No anti-air from Daigo. No flash kick. My man was holding down and he just blocked. Okay. That's a that's a good sign if you Fudo. If you notice that as Fudo and you realize that Daigo is definitely some nerves here. Every time that is a Fudo special. Always will command grab you back in the corner if you whiff a jump in. Yeah, Fudo. You can see the strategy. The strategy is definitely getting Daigo in a corner and then getting mix-ups on offense with v Reversal. Then just using v Reversal as an offensive tool. Ooh, with an anti-air. Nah, Fudo is he looked like he was he's ready for this gal matchup. Nope, can't do that. That Mike Buff is so good for Mika. <laughs> nice confirm. And a V shift punish with the EX Peach. A V reversal, you gotta guess, Daigo. No bad guess. Body. Shot the wake up jab. Yeah, those matches were, were pretty good. I was entertained from start to finish of this. This is Topanga A-League now, bro. The big boys are here to play. So, as always, I need you. Let me know what you thought of today's matches in the comment section. And what do you think about all the players in the Topanga A-League this year. And, as always, you know, I will see you in the next one.